Developing Bamboo-Based Construction Technique Many people in fast-growing cities in Asia, Africa, and Latin America live in poor quality homes that are unsafe and unhealthy. In these areas, majority of city residents live in homes that lack basic safety, privacy, and access to clean water and electricity. These homes often cannot withstand natural disasters like cyclones or earthquakes, which are becoming more common due to climate change. While better housing is needed, most low-income families cannot afford modern building materials like concrete and steel. This creates a serious need for affordable, safe, and eco-friendly housing solutions. One promising material is bamboo. It grows quickly, is widely available in the South and Southeast Asian countries, and has been used for centuries in rural homes. However, bamboo is rarely used in cities and is often seen as a sign of poverty. It is mostly used in informal settlements and not as a main support for buildings. Unlike modern materials, bamboo construction has not been properly tested or improved for urban or disaster-prone areas. This project explores how bamboo can be turned into a reliable, sustainable building system for low-income families. To make this happen, researchers looked at what different people involved in housing, like builders, residents, experts, and officials, think about bamboo and social housing. They collected ideas through interviews and on-site visits in these countries, and also studied how bamboo and wood have been used in other countries like Colombia and parts of Europe. From this, they identified 15 key factors that make a housing solution truly sustainable. These factors fall into five main areas, society, environment, economy, technology, and rules or governance. Social factors include whether people accept bamboo homes, if communities are involved in building them, and if local jobs are created. Environmental factors look at how much pollution is caused, how renewable the materials are, and how well they manage waste. Economic factors include the cost of building and maintaining homes, and whether the business model can grow. Technical factors focus on safety, durability, comfort, and ease of construction. Governance factors involve whether the building method follows laws and has official approval. Based on these factors, the researchers created a step-by-step -step plan to develop a bamboo-based housing system. The plan has four main parts. First, research must be done to test bamboo's strength, how it performs in storms and earthquakes, and how it can be used in different parts of a house. This includes lab tests and real-world trials. Second, the building system must be put into practice through pilot projects to see how well it works on the ground. Third, local communities, builders, and officials must be involved and trained so they can help build and maintain the homes. This helps people feel ownership and trust in the new system. Fourth, a reliable supply chain must be created to grow, harvest, process, and deliver quality bamboo in large amounts. So far, early results are encouraging. Tests show that bamboo is strong, especially in tension and bending. Engineered bamboo walls have resisted strong winds and fire for over an hour. Homes built with this system have survived several major typhoons without damage. They also provide good indoor comfort and produce 60% less carbon dioxide than concrete homes. These results help prove that bamboo can be a safe and green alternative. The goal is not to replace all current building methods, but to offer a better option for low-income families. By combining modern engineering with local knowledge, bamboo homes can be affordable, disaster-resistant, and environmentally friendly. The approach also creates jobs in rural areas where bamboo is grown and in urban areas where homes are built. This plan, if properly commercialized, can be used in the region where bamboos are produced in abundance, from China all through Pacific countries. It can be adapted to other tropical countries where bamboo grows and where there is a need for low-cost housing. However, success depends on more than just technology. It requires support from governments, access to land, fair financing, and long-term community involvement. In short, bamboo has great potential to improve housing for millions of people. By listening to the needs of communities and using science and smart planning, it is possible to create homes that are not only affordable but also safe, sustainable, and dignified. Such projects, if taken up on commercial basis would prove how a simple the natural material can become part of a bigger solution for better habitat in a healthier planet. Pakistan doesn't grow bamboo like countries such as China and the Philippines do. These countries use bamboo a strong, cheap, and beautiful material to build affordable homes and other structures. But I've read that some areas in Pakistan can grow bamboo in large amounts and in a way that makes economic sense. If this is true, smart people and organizations should take action. They should grow bamboo widely, 
help local farmers take benefits, and improve construction with better, low-cost local materials.